Well guys, it's the 31st of August and it's time to do my first vending machine collection because I forgot I own one. So let's go check it out. It's over there in B building. get into it first let's see what snacks need to be stocked all right people been buying candy and the gummies all right let's see how we're doing with coins Looks like we're pretty much still good with coins. Let's see what's going on over here. This is the bill acceptor, so. Okay. Ooh. Shabby. It's not bad. So now we make a mental note of what we need to refill it with. Um, not really a mental note, I'll actually take a piece of paper and jot it down, but I'm taking a mental note for now. Honestly, I gotta change some prices. So these chips were at like $2 before because <clears throat> I was basically pricing them the same price that the hotel sells them for inside, but I'm gonna lower them to $175 because $2 I know, trust me, I was locked out of this machine for about a week. Two dollars is crazy to be spending on these chips. It's uh, it's wild when the tables are turned. This is what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm trying to get this freaking sticker out. There we go. Oh, we gotta do that about five, six more times. There's a lot of little kids running around here, so I put these cheap little 50 cent Welch's fruit snacks in there for them. So now I'm just going to restock them. All right, guys, let's go back to the room and enjoy some Cheetos, huh? Look, 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 look. there she goes, my seven tree leader, front and center, ready for work. God, these steps are disgusting. Hello, anybody home? All right, here we are. And here we got this fat stack of cash. So, I'm gonna count it real quick. See how much we got here. Alright guys, so we just got done counting it. How much do you think it is? I'll give you a second. What? You said it's that much? Well, I'd be inclined to agree. Um, it's actually more than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be about, you know, $60, $80. We actually made $113. But we spent $80. So, we probably have about, 
I mean, the machine's still full. I really, I really don't know how much we got left, but all I know is that in a month we have a hundred dollars, and the vending machine is still pretty full. There's only about two, I want to say about four to five rows that need to be filled, and other than that, everything else is pretty full. People just eat the Snickers, they love the coffee cakes, crumb cakes, whatever you want to call them. That's a hot seller. Skittles and Starburst, um, and Cheetos. <laughs> so, a hundred dollars. I'm not too mad at it because I know that you know this is. It's gonna be generating more than this. I came to this location earlier this month and I found that the machine was actually unplugged. For how long? I don't know. So we lost sales. We, you know, we lost running time there. Um, that issue shouldn't happen anymore since I've placed my machine in a different spot and located the cord in a different place and tucked it away a little better. So this is what we got, $113. I'm happy with it. What do you guys get at your uh, vending machine locations? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you do this or if you want to get started. Um, or if you have any questions on how to get a vending machine placed in a hotel. Anyways, guys, take care as always. Like and subscribe and um, hit that notification button so you always know when I'm on. Have a good one, guys.